What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I'm just gonna tell you how freaking awesome you are, because seriously, you are freaking awesome. And why are you awesome, you're asking? Well, isn't it obvious? You speak Esperanto, or at least you're learning it. Like, your awesomeness level, it depends on how well you speak the language. So if you've just started learning, you kind of entered into the, the minor awesome level, but as you progress, your awesomeness also goes up. Like, you can actually clarify someone's awesomeness level based on how much they speak. Now, clearly, since I speak this language fluently, I'm just like epic awesome. Like, I, I'm awesome with an extra adjective type of thing, or maybe it's an adverb, it doesn't matter. I'm just like, epically awesome. But anyway, the reason I wanted to tell you this is because I've had a few people every now and then come up to me who've like, heard about Esperanto five seconds ago, and then they go, Why would you speak this language that nobody speaks? You're so not cool. Not cool? Not cool, you say? Well, let's take a couple of steps back, shall we? Let's go back to the 90s or the 80s. What were all the so-called cool kids doing back then? They were the ones who were riding around their little scooters, you know, type of thing, popping their durries or, you know, hanging out at the milk bar type of thing. And what was the so-called geeky, non-cool kid doing? He was the guy sitting in his room Hatting away, like hitting away at the big friggin' giant DOS computer with the, the floppy disk the side of the pizza boxes type of thing. Finally getting that DOS game loaded, going, hey, 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 I've done it. I've conquered the DOS. And guess what? Guess what everyone else is doing now? Except not with DOS. They're all playing freaking computer games, so apparently it's now cool to do that. But back then it wasn't. No, you know what the difference is? Cool is basically just everyone else catching up to the geeky kid and going, oh shit, you know, he was onto something 30 years ago and that's what's happening right now. You've started learning this language with like thousands and thousands of others. You're the ones who are catching up to us cool cats, man. Like cool cats, that's probably the worst word in the world to actually use, that's disgusting. Don't you ever say cool cats, but you're catching up to us. So now, as you slowly enter into our community, your awesomeness level goes up and eventually it will jump from awesome to cool level. And then from there, we may invite you into our inner circle of pure awesomeness, but it really depends on how well you speak this language. Like right now, I'm conversing with you in English just so that you may understand because if I start speaking in Esperanto, well then if you don't understand the language, you won't be able to enter my awesomeness level and you may actually become upset about that. And I understand it's a very painful process not being able to speak Esperanto, but eventually you will get there. And if you already speak it, well, come here my brother. We are, we are the ones, we are the gods amongst the minions type of thing. But no, that's all I wanted to get at is the fact that yes, not everyone speaks this language yet, but let's just say you're on the cutting edge my friend because this language is massively growing and Duolingo is proof enough of that. Like the amount of people that have just randomly started learning this language, like think about it, think about it, okay? People say, why would you learn this language, blah, 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 whatever their reasons is, it's just a load of crap. But if you think about it, why would you not learn this language if you're going to learn a language? Like, of all the languages out there, let's learn French. Yeah, okay, cool. German, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, all these, like, naturalistic languages, yeah, that's lots of fun. That's like... And then you've got Esperanto, which is like a fully created, artificially designed language. It's like the friggin' Borg of languages type of thing. And then you've got other choices, like French, which is like board game versus freaking 3D battlefield type of thing. Why would you choose the board game language over the freaking battlefield World of Warcraft type of language? Like seriously, if, if you're gonna go with a board game language, dude, you suck. And if you love board games, it's okay. I'm not saying that board games suck in any fashion or anything. I'm not biased or discriminative against board game players. I just generally don't like to be in the same room as them. But that's basically it. So if you've just started learning this level, uh, this language, not this level, this language, let's just say that your awesomeness level is about one, okay? You've got one point in the awesomeness. But as you progress and you get to medium, you're probably about 10 points. And then as you get fluent, you're, you're, you're reaching about 50 points on the awesomeness score level, okay? And then you've got, once you're actually like taking part in full on conversations, let's just say that you've entered the expansion pack level, like you're in the freaking epically awesome. But then once you get to my level, dude, they don't even make it for my level. I'm like the behind the scenes guy, like the dude who just blows you away. That's where you can be in like a couple of years, like literally, actually not even a couple of years. If you're smarter than me, which like 99.9% .9 of the population probably is, you will get there within probably a year to full fluency, being able to converse about basically anything except for maybe, you know, astrophysics and stuff like that. But maybe, maybe, I can't even talk about that in English, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, 
Anyway, so I just wanted to say, if you're learning this language, especially if you're a Duolingo learner, and you're struggling along the way, just remember, you're probably on the scale of five on the awesomeness level. While the rest of the world who are learning like French and German and stuff, yeah, sure, they're, they're cool in a historical context, I guess. But if you wanna be like cutting edge awesomeness, pfft, that's where Esperanto comes in, my friend. That's where it comes in. Anyway, so yeah, if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your non-cool, zero awesomeness level friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video and if you're not there well guess what you're zero on the awesomeness level and totally not cool <laughs>